Yeah, those are good thoughts. You were recently on this uh, island in the South Pacific called Malakula. Oh, yeah. Um, and observing some of the geothermal activity. And mm. I thought you made an observation that, that uh, humans maybe are just a tiny blip of insignificance on the planet in the long run. Yeah, well, I mean, I, I, I get I that was... in my ayahuasca ceremonies too <laughs> sometimes. Well, it, we are. I think the illusion that we have significance is part of our problem. I mean, obviously, it's part of the religious problem that somehow the Ur humans have dominion over the earth is, is, is a real problem for some evangelicals, for some not. But I mean, the notion that it doesn't matter what we do, God's going to take care of us. So that's, a, that's a, a myth that has to be dispensed with. But more importantly, the, recognize the humility that we are, in a cosmic sense, completely insignificant. I mean, that, that's what I've written about in my books. Uh, the cosmos doesn't care whether we're here or not. In fact, to some extent, it's trying to kill us all the time. But even in a human sense, the energetics, the long-term history of the Earth, humans, there's no doubt humans are the first species that have dramatically, globally affected the Earth. I don't think any other species has done that particularly. So, but we're still just a blip. And the, you go to a, a volcano and you see the, the, the energy and the, uh, uh, that, that is the, harnessed in the Earth and you realize how literally insignificant you are as a human being is a, is a very powerful thing. It shouldn't dis disturb you. It should realize how fortunate you are that you have the opportunity to think, to act, to, to enjoy. And so I'm always amazed that, that especially some religious people talk about how uh, it would be nice if scientists were more humble. And I always think, well, what's more humble? Recognizing you're an insignificant cognitive being who's, who, who has consciousness on a remote planet in the middle of nowhere in a random galaxy in the middle of a universe that doesn't care about us, or saying the universe was created so we could exist. I mean, which is more humble? <laughs> <laughs>